Hey everyone, uh, I haven't done tutorials in a long time, dude, but this is a very good opportunity for you guys who love to watch um, Mario hacks and the ones who love to create hacks or custom levels in general. This is a simple way to create levels using a different software from uh, Lunar Magic. It has nothing to do with the Super Mario World ROM hacks, nothing to do with the SNES emulator. It is a uh, PC uh, flash game, Super Mario Flash, I don't know if you ever heard of it. Uh, it's very simple, you can make levels so easily, of course with several limitations in comparison to Lunar, Lunar Magic or some other editors like uh, Game Maker. But if you want to create levels using very simple elements, very uh, a, a certain amount of enemies, certain amount of obstacles in general, uh, not very complex, uh, well this is your chance and also my chance because it's so freaking easy to make levels. So I'm gonna teach you how to use Super Mario Flash, first of all how to get it. You, you, don't, you don't need to download anything, you, you can create your levels online going to the web page I'm gonna show you. You can create your levels, I'm gonna show you how to save the levels, how to share it with people uh, and of course gonna be telling you the limitations of this uh, way of creating levels but if you want to have a good time if you want to uh, show your evil creation to your friends uh, even to myself you can send me your your creations I, I'll tell you how because you still don't know the system uh, probably most of you and let's go well on Google please type Super Mario Flash like that I don't know if in your case the first web page that will appear is the one I'm looking for. In case you want to confirm, I tell you that the web page is poetpoo.pbwiki.com. Anyway, the web page is in the description of this video for you to check it out. If you click on there, you go immediately to the Flash game. As you can see, it's ready to play absolutely ready you don't need to download anything and also you can appreciate that uh, some custom levels which are available for you to play them okay well actually Super Mario Flash is an actual game you can select player Mario or Luigi and these are the, um, the controls this is one of the limitations. You cannot run. Whatever. I'm just testing level 1. These are like 8 levels, if I'm not mistaken. Elements from Super Mario 1, basically. Goombas, Koopas. The music, also. Whatever. These are like 8 levels in total. Let's forget about the game itself. You can play it as a normal game, right? But the interesting thing is the level editor. Okay, let's do this. Well, you have several options here. Let's go immediately to create. You can select the background, the type of level, by clicking on change. Okay, forest, castle, snow, ghost, fucking mouse. As you can see the... No, Unfortunately, you cannot play, you cannot make water levels. That's one of the limitations of this, apart from not being able to, to run in this game. Anyway, let's select the simple, the most simple one, land. How about the bonus? You can, the bonus stage normally, cave, right? Select. Uh, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter because uh, the level is as long as you wish by uh, setting, by placing the flagpole, whatever you want. The editor controls, to show the menu you have to press up, to have, of course the arrows from the, the keyboard, to hide the menu down, uh, to select an object, of course you have to use your mouse, very simple, and if you click on the X, uh, you can, uh, sorry, if you move your left right you can uh, go further, in, in other words, you cannot make vertical levels, another limitation here. As you can see, left, right, right, this is the start point, uh, the classical floor, classical background. So, let's press up, as you can see, 
here we have the elements, the objects, floors, uh, blocks, uh, part of the floor too, um, the ghost house. If you click on next, you can see more from this famous cliff uh, levels, uh, and also part of the background, trees, fences, uh, the mushroom floor, uh, some bushes and crap, uh, castle things. Uh, inside the ca outside the castle, inside the castle, lava. Uh, sorry, I think and pipes. Okay, as a part of the level two. That that's in the case of tiles. I don't know how to pronounce that. In case of objects, you can see hidden blocks, uh, basic coins, uh, the up down elevators, the falling blocks, and the ones that go uh, vertical and horizontal of, uh, platforms. Okay, the classic ones too. How about monsters? If you click on monsters, you can see all the enemies which are available on this uh, flash game. There are not so many, but at least you can see all of them from, or almost all of them from Super Mario 1, except the chip chips, uh, since it is not possible to make water levels. But you can see thwomps, you can see dry bones, uh, boos, uh, ball bills, the shooters, um, Bowser, the Bowser fireball. It is a very good collection of things you can do here. How about warp? You can uh, create warps for the bonus stages, for example, uh, through doors or through pipes. Doesn't matter. It's very simple. Okay, go back. So let's make a very simple example of this. Uh, ah, before I forget, uh, for example, let's select one of these blocks. And you press down, you come back. As you can see, I can place it here. I don't know, a lot of this, pure shit. Up again. Let's go to this floor. You can erase it by holding the mouse, the mouse button. No, to press it again. No, you don't have to hold anything. Just by doing that, you can eliminate. And of, of course, you can re-add this floor. Okay, uh, for making pits. That's what I mean. Up again. As you can see in the menu, you can see the word save. Click on there, and you can set the flagpole whenever you, I mean, whenever you want and wherever you want. So it doesn't matter the length of the level. You can uh, place this in any parts. Of course, you can set the start point. You could see the start point here, right? It's no trouble at all. The flagpole could be like here. Very simple, very short. Set the music to change it. This is number one. This is the another Super Mario World music. Castle, Bowser fights. Different music from different Mario games, Super Mario uh, 1, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3, Super Mario World. Stop. The level name, uh, well, you can uh, create a uh, level name. I don't know, Triple uh, X, okay, a porn field. Save. Uh, you can see it there, okay, but, well, you can play it, of course, you can play for yourself. As I told you, you cannot run, you jump using the up button, you see, and uh, by pressing space, you can shoot the fireballs, and it's very simple. Okay, how... I mean, how, how can you, well, another limitation, you can create only isolated levels, you cannot create a game, you cannot modify, or you cannot make an entire game as many people would like, but to create isolated levels for sharing them with your friends, it's very, very cool in that sense. Go to this menu, you click on code, as you can see a long code with little letters and numbers, what you have to do is to select all, copy, Oh, sorry. There we go. Copy. Go back. And let's refresh the page to start all over again, just for telling you how to load this. Go to Level Editor, select your player, and click on Load. Here you have to paste that code and load. As you can see, the name XXX is ready to play. In that way, what you have to do basically is to uh, go to code to select all right fucking mouse eh? to copy and you can post it 
in order to share with other people. In this particular web page, you can see uh, many levels created by people, uh, but they post the code and you copy it and you paste it on this Flash game for you to play that level. Okay, what you have to do is that. It's pretty simple. In case you have a doubt, please let me know. But as I, I guess it's very, very simple to learn how to make levels using the Super Mario Flash game. Of course, the webpage is in the description. And uh, yeah, pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And of course, you can. I am expecting you to send me your levels, your evil creations. I will let you create some stuff here also to share with people too. So, see you later.